Thinking of drowning in his blue eyes I'm losing sight cause I am falling I'm so deep down, deep down And it's not a lie That I die I can't hide Hi ladies and welcome to today's video where we are going to be doing a weekend routine. A weekend routine that is all about getting ready for the events that we have happening that weekend. So we have some company over on Saturday and on Sunday David, my son, has a soccer game and then my daughter has an event from her dancing. So there is a lot of prep that goes into that, which you're going to see. And we're going to start off with some cleaning of the kitchen, which, as you can see, desperately needs some TLC. There is a lot of things to put away from the different grocery shopping trips we have done earlier that day and a lot of things to put away. So that's where I get, like to get started to set the tone for the rest of the weekend. Eyes, and you can tell me of your lies I will put out all of the fire If it gets too dark And I have noticed that no matter how well organized I stay throughout the week, by the time we get to like Thursday evening, Friday morning, this is typically how my kitchen looks like because we get some groceries either delivered or picked up. The kids get all the stuff from school and daycare and it just, well, my island basically looks the way it does at the end of the week. So let me know in the comments if yours looks the same way by the end of the week or if you are able to actually keep up, keep up with it throughout the week. In and out of love, never get enough. We never seem to get older. When things are going right, you seem to have the time. But when it's hard, you just grow cold up. We should be good, but we'll keep lighting fires. The words you be, cause we're scared of the silence. We should be good, but we'll keep lighting fires. Fires around ourselves. We should be good, but we'll keep lighting fires. The words you be, cause we're scared of the and if you are new here, hi, my name is Marta. I am a full-time working mom of two. I have eight-year-old son David and five-year-old daughter Emilia. And I work as an analyst for a large healthcare organization. So I have your typical nine to five, or in my case, six to three thirty job. I work nine hour days and I have every other Friday off. That's the current schedule I do. I do work from home and I have been doing that for a few years now. So the pandemic did not change that for me, thankfully, but I am very fortunate to have a schedule like I do because it really allows me to basically spend more time with my kids and drive them to different activities because I don't waste that time for the commute. But also working from home, you know, I do have to separate for my household responsibilities, from my work responsibilities. So even though I work from home, you know, it does not allow me to really stay on top of things the way one would think you can if you are at home. But I think at this point, everybody got a bit of a kind of reality check of what working from home really means because a lot of us were in the same boat. But this is why I was saying no matter what I do, by the end of the week, there is plenty of things to catch up on. And because we had all those things happening on the weekend, I really wanted to get a good head start on a Friday evening.
And this is the bento box I have for my son. I'm gonna be getting uh, the same one, but probably the purple for my daughter. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get it for this school year or for next one because she is gonna be going to kindergarten this year, but it's only a half a day kindergarten, so they won't really need to eat a lunch. So I'm debating whether I should just wait for um, another year before getting it, but I had that lunchbox for a while. Um, I got it for my son, I think when he was going to the first grade, so he is gonna be going to fourth next year. Um, however, I did have to change it once, and that is because he dropped it in a way that when, you know, those uh, clasps at the end of it, he dropped it, so they really, like, broke in half. I don't know how he managed to do that, but he did. But if you're looking for a lunchbox for your uh, kids for next year, I'll link this one below so you can check it out because it's, I find it really helpful to be able to, like, put, have those little you know, separators inside so I can put different kinds of food and they're all mixed together. So as part of my routine, I like to do it. So one day, like on Friday, I like to do most of the cleaning, hopefully all of it. Sometimes I don't finish it. And then the next day, Saturday, that's when I do my food prep. So we had some friends over, um, just one family. So it wasn't, you know, a lot of um, food prep in a sense. I didn't have to do large quantities, but I definitely wanted to make a dessert. This is the easiest dessert ever. I bought a pre-made uh, pie crust, and this is just the simplest cheesecake. It literally has uh, cream cheese, sugar, vanilla, and eggs. That's all it is. And I basically everything is done in um, in the mixer. So all I have to do is mix the ingredients. So um, extremely easy recipe and it's really, really tasty. And next I was doing some uh, shish kebabs with chicken and some veggies. So I marinated the chicken in some teriyaki sauce. I put it in the fridge for a few hours. And then later on, you're gonna see me assemble the shish kebabs. Stepped into my life, such a magic feeling. We tore down my walls. I wish I could go back to right before you told me I try to change it all. So I use very simple ingredients for my shish kebabs. Um, I only use, like you saw, the marinated chicken. And then my veggies are almost all the time the same, which are peppers, onion and mushrooms and that's all i really put on it but i'm curious to hear if you put something additional to it uh, we were grilling that so chicken is usually my preferred meat i was debating whether i should try shrimp i never have so i probably need to find like a um some recipe or directions to make it make sure that it comes out we have we're gonna have uh, family over in two weeks um, so I might try that with shrimp as well. So if you have any good recipes, make sure you let me know in the comments. Change it all. But look at us now. I could have gone so far. It hurts to realize we're parted. Yeah, look at us now. This is who we are. And I just know things will never be the same Like strangers again, again, again Strangers again, again, again Like strangers again, again, again I just know things will never be the same Like strangers again And then it was time for the assembly. Um, so 
you know, I just kind of lined up my food and started putting it on. And I did notice that I'm a bit of, you know, of an OCD with this because I like to have them in the same order as in the previous ones. I don't know why. It doesn't really matter. But that's, <laughs> I noticed that that's what I was doing. And at the end, I had some mushrooms left over. So I just put, you know, a couple more on a top not to waste them because mushrooms are one of those types of food that if you don't kind of use it up after you wash them, um, they're not going to stay good. So I didn't want to think about how to reuse them. So I just put as many on top as I could to use all of them up. You said we'd get so high, higher up than heaven. You said we'd reach the stars. Another thing I like to do is the chartreuse board. I put different things different times. Sometimes I put veggies. I always have some sort of a cheese and crackers um, and some sort of a fruit. Like I said, I kind of mix it up. I had some salad for the side for the shish kebabs, which I forgot to put on the table when we were eating. So <laughs> I made a salad, you know, afterwards as another um, as another food, but I don't know if you do it sometimes. It seems like almost every time I do it, I prepare something, I put it in the fridge or on the side, and I forget about it until we're kind of past that point. Playing cool, play on repeat, watching people on the street as I go by. And it doesn't even matter to me where I go. I just feel I need to take a ride. Coffee cup to go, and I'm gonna hit the road tonight. Okay, we made it to Sunday, and it's a busy day. We have David's soccer game at noon, then Emilia has like a, a banquet from her dancing, so I have to do a lot of ironing of everything we're gonna wear because it's all wrinkly. I have to um, assemble a basket, it's like for different prizes that we are gonna be act not actioning off but it's just you can ruffle it off I guess that's the that's the right term uh, so I have to do that I have to print some things I have to get us ready for soccer it's also the day where we bring snacks so it's just you know, making sure we pack everything to take with us and I think that's it so it doesn't seem like maybe a lot but there's just a lot of coordination making sure we have everything especially for like the kids <laughs> when they're gonna have their events so let me get started. Now my wheels in motion and my windows open with the wind blowing in my head. I'm driving down the highway, don't I do this my way? I can feel it in the air. Here I go. So the very first thing I wanted to do before we got dressed is to get those baskets ready. I had one basket that had just an assortment of things. I had, um, I think it's Amazon, I can't remember, Echo Screen. I don't know what it was called, but we had it for a while and we didn't really open it. So I decided to, um, to use that as one of the prizes and we had some wine and a gift card and chocolates so that was um, one of the gift um, baskets that I was making the second one was a basket that everybody from our you know team was uh, contributing to it that was the Dyson vacuum I was really hoping that I would be the one to win it but that did not happen and I even stayed all the way until the end because that was like the last prize to be raffled off and nope no luck there so I'm gonna have to I guess buy it myself at some point 
And I also bought those large bows that I wanted to put on top of the prizes, the baskets. And I don't know why. Those instructions were so much more difficult than actually making the bow. I mean, all it should have said is pull on a string. <laughs> and it was like four steps. And it got me confused for a while. So I cut out a few, few things from this when I was editing the video. But it was extremely easy to do, just instructions made it more complicated. So let me know if you ever experienced that when you're trying to read instructions and you're like, couldn't just couldn't they just simplify it because it's not that difficult. But they turn out really well. So I really recommend those if you're doing something like that or for like larger gifts. I get so caught up in the middle thinking of drowning in those blue eyes. I'm losing sight cause I am falling I'm so deep down, deep down And it's not a lie that I die I can't hide And before I started getting ready with my hair and makeup, I wanted to iron all the clothes. So it was mainly for my son. He needed a, a button-down shirt iron since he does not wear those a lot at all. Clearly, I think this is the first time he was wearing this one because I still found a tag and I know he would not be comfortable with that. So that was for him and for my daughter, the dress that she was going to be dancing in. I needed to iron that. That was like a brand new um, that they got for us. And it just got very wrinkly and it's, I don't even know what, I don't, I don't remember the material it's made out of, but it's one of those when I couldn't really iron just with the iron because that would make like creases and I was afraid it was going to burn it as well. So at first I used a paper towel on top of it, which is typically what I do, but this material, you could see like the pattern from the paper towel reflecting on the dress so that's why you see me kind of looking at that you know how it looked like and I didn't like it so what I ended up doing is getting uh, like a cloth from the kitchen and using that and that worked like a charm so I was just spraying it with water and using that cloth to iron through it and it really did its job And then it was time to finally get ready. So of course my daughter took the most time because I had to do her hair in a specific way per the instructions of her dancing teacher. Uh, so that took a few minutes. Um, I did mine before and then I did hers. Um, but she was constantly asking me questions to make sure that I'm doing it right. Uh, even though she couldn't see what I'm doing in the back, it took a while for, for me to explain. Yes, I remember how your teacher told us to do your hair. Um, so just to reassure her that we're doing it the right way. I am running for you I 
And that is going to be it for this video. As you can see, there's still stuff around. No matter how much I try, but when we are trying to leave somewhere, there is always some mess that stays behind. But um, I wanted to make sure that everything that we needed was packed in the car and you know the mess can wait in the house. We'll clean it up when we get home. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it gave you some motivation and kind of a glimpse of you know the weekend routine when I am just having a lot of things happening on that weekend. So hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.